Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. The holidays are right around the corner and you all are looking for that perfect dessert to put on your dinner table. Listen here, you are in for a treat because I have an amazing recipe I wanna show you how to make today. I'm gonna to show you how to make Gina Young style sweet potato pie. This recipe does not require a lot of ingredients. It's so easy to make. And if you're making a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so good. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young style sweet potato pie. You all never had my sweet potato pie before? You better make you some. Okay, everybody, here are the lovely ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need sweet potatoes. Okay, I have peeled the sweet potatoes. Okay, everyone, you're going to need the sweet potatoes. You can see that I've peeled the sweet potatoes and I've cut them and they're sitting in cold water. Now we're gonna take these sweet potatoes and we're gonna put them on a medium high heat and we're gonna boil them until they get fork tender. And what fork tender means is when you stick a fork in that bad boy, that fork is gonna slide out like butter. And that is what fork tender means, okay? Your potato will actually be tender. Okay, so let me just set these aside. Here is what your sweet potato will look like and you're just going to peel them wash them, wash them first, peel them, and then cut them. Now, a lot of people, they like to just rinse them off and put them in the water and boil them this way, and the skin peels off really easy after boiling. So it's really up to your discretion how you want to do that. You also can find sweet potato puree. Okay, sweet potato puree, it comes in a can and it has nothing in it except for sweet potato puree. You can use that as well, and it makes for an amazing sweet potato pie. Now, the other ingredients that you will need, you're gonna need a half a stick of butter. Your butter does not have to be melted. It can just be room temperature, or you can put it in melted. We're gonna use, you can use a little over a half a cup of sugar. It's up to your discretion whether you wanna use white or brown sugar. You'll see in my other video that I have for sweet potato pie that I'm using white sugar. Today I'm gonna to use light brown sugar. Now, if you want yours extra sweet like I like mine's, I'm gonna use a cup of sugar. But if you just want it, you know, not too sweet, but sweet enough, then you use that half a cup of sugar. We're gonna use two large eggs, three fourths cup of evaporated milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and let me, give, let me show you all something. I'm going to use apple pie spice, and some of you might say, oh no, Gina, does apple pie spice taste like apple pie? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm just gonna tell you guys, because that's some of the questions that I get. This, inside of this apple pie spice, it has cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Those are the three ingredients that you would use. So instead of grabbing all three of those spices out, I just grab this out. It has all of the ingredients that I want to use in my pie. And you can see right here where it says, our balanced blend of cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice is perfect for oatmeal and sweet potatoes. Okay, this right here is amazing. Get some if you never had it before. Okay, so then we are going to, after we put our spices in, I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing topping. And that topping is gonna to call for one cup of brown sugar, a half a stick of melted butter, one third cup of flour, and crushed pecans, okay? So let's take our sweet potatoes over to the stove, get them to boiling. You are also going to need pie crust. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do as I do and get the nine inch crust in this one. It comes frozen and you get two crusts in a package, two nine inch crust. If you decide that you want to go the deep dish way, this recipe will give you enough filling for one large deep dish. If not, 
you can do the two nine inch crusts and it'll fill them up to the brim, okay? Or you can get the rollout dough and that's what you will see in my other video for sweet potato pie. Any of them would be just fine or you can make the crust yourself if you'd like. We have our sweet potatoes on the stove. Medium high heat is the heat that you're gonna want to use and probably around between 25 and 30 minutes, they should be nice and fork tender. Okay, and I'll show you when I stick my fork in one exactly what fork tender looks like. Now we really can't go too much further until our potatoes are fork tender. And then we'll move on with the recipe. Okay everyone, so while we wait on our potatoes to start boiling, I want to go ahead and start measuring all of my ingredients out that will need to be measured. So I'm going to take all-purpose flour, okay, and we're going to need one-third cup of flour for our topping, okay? So I'm going to put that in here, just like so. Right here at this line is the one-third. We're going to need that for our topping. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. I hope you all are having a great week as well. Absolutely, I do. There's one third. And then we're going to need one fourth cup. We're going to put one fourth cup into this sweet potato pie because I feel like when you put a little bit of flour in it, guess what it does? It kind of binds the pie together a lot better versus not using it. Now listen here, you don't have to use it, okay? You don't have to use flour and you'll have a successful recipe. But if you want to, go ahead and throw one fourth cup of flour in there and it will really bind together just beautifully, okay? All right, so then I'm going to need three fourths cup of evaporated milk. We'll go ahead and get that measured out as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my three-fourths cup of evaporated milk here. I'm using the Carnet Nestle's Carnation. Let's make sure I get this nice and level. That way all the measuring will be done and out the way. Beautiful. Now, what I do, what I find is, okay, so your potatoes are done, right? When your potatoes are done, I feel like you get a be better texture pie if you let the potatoes cool down before you put everything in it. Give that a try next time you make your sweet potato pie. Let the sweet potatoes cool down. And listen here, if you're in a bind or you're in a hurry, take those sweet potatoes after you've drained them and taken them out of the boiling water, throw them in the freezer and they'll cool down much quicker, or throw them in the refrigerator, okay? It's really up to your discretion how you wanna do that. But they'll cool down much faster, then you mix it up and you get a much smoother, it it's, it's really makes a difference versus whether you mix everything up while they're warm or you mix everything up while they're cool. Now we're gonna measure out our sugar. I'm gonna use a cup. You can use a half a cup if you like. Absolutely you can. And those of you um, that may be diabetic, um, you feel free to use the Splenda. You know, there's different types of sugars that you can use. You know, and I believe, don't quote me on this, and you all can um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I believe they have a Splenda that is brown sugar. Now when you put your sugar in, you pack it in. Make sure you pack it in to get the correct measurement. You can use white sugar if you'd like, okay? Either or is gonna make this recipe amazing, okay? One cup, nicely packed, light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar as well. Okay everyone, let's take a look down into our potatoes. They've cooked for 25 minutes and they're done. When I put my fork in, it slides right out, perfectly done. Let's take these out, we're gonna get them out the water, get them into the freezer so we can cool them down quickly, and then everything happens so fast from here. Okay everyone, our sweet potatoes 
have cooled down. They're not all the way cooled down, but they're cooled down enough. Okay, so we're just gonna put them in here. And here's what I'm gonna do, something really interesting. I am gonna show you all how to de-string the sweet potatoes, your yams, okay? Have you ever made sweet potatoes and you notice that they have some sort of string on them? Okay, well, here's an easy way to get rid of the strings. Watch this, watch closely. Okay. Hold on guys, I think I'd like to do this first just to get it going. Now mash them down just a little bit. If you have sweet potatoes, or yams that have a lot of strings on them. You're gonna mix them this way in this manner and the strings will come off onto your beater and you can pull the strings away. We'll see how stringy mines are. Mines might not be that stringy, let's just see. Okay, so if yours is really stringy, you will see the strings right here that you can pull off. You can kind of see those strings right there. You can see that, okay? And you can see strings here. You just pull that and get rid of it, okay? And then we'll mix it again. And if any strings come off once again, we'll keep mixing this until you see no strings on your beater. I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna mix once again. Okay, everyone, after mixing, I had to pull the strings off two times from the beaters, okay? So now let me fix my camera. Let's go ahead and start to mix everything in. Everything happens so fast from here. We wanna put our half a stick of butter in. It can be melted or just room temperature. Okay, I needed to grab a rubber spatula. Get that in there just like so. You can use salted or unsalted. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, whether I use salted or unsalted butter, I'm still gonna use just a pinch of salt in my mixture. I find that it really brings out the beautiful flavor in this pie when you use just a pinch of salt, okay? You don't have to use unsalted or salted. Just a little pinch goes a long way. This right here, one more pinch, perfect. Those potatoes smell absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go in with my vanilla, two teaspoons, or you just pour it in like I do. <laughs> you all know me. Beautiful, oh, it's gonna give an amazing taste and a beautiful smell. Oh yeah, baby. Get you some apple pie spice if you don't have it. Put you some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and allspice. You all be careful with the nutmeg, okay? Because nutmeg is very strong, and allspice can be a little strong as well. Perfect. I don't measure mine because I know exactly how much I need, okay? That one fourth cup of flour is really gonna help to bind this mixture, but you don't have to use it and it'll turn out successful, okay? I'm gonna put one cup or your half a cup, really up to your discretion. Three fourths cup evaporated milk. I love evaporated milk. I can drink it right out of the can. You better believe I can. I love it. Hooey. Beautiful. And then we're gonna put two eggs in. I'm gonna crack my two eggs 
into a separate bowl because I don't want to get a bad egg or raw egg or uh, I'm sorry eggshells into my mixture. So let me crack these into a separate bowl and then we're going to mix everything together. I'm going to start to mix up our mixture and then we'll add the eggs in, okay? You start on a low speed and then you can work your way up. It's pretty simple, right? You can do this as well. Everything I make in my kitchen, you all can do the same thing. And it will be successful. Absolutely it will be. Take the time to scrape down the sides so that I can get everything well incorporated. This right here smells absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more spices though, but we'll give this a try before we put the eggs in to see if I need extra spices. and see what we think about our seasoning. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. I do need some spices. Get you some more in. And you make sure you taste. Okay, you always taste so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. That right there is absolutely amazing. Go ahead and put those two beautiful eggs in, just like so. have one beautiful nice smooth batter our batter is done it's nice and velvety beautiful and smooth and it tastes mm, oh my goodness it tastes absolutely amazing so now we're gonna grab your pie shells we're gonna fill our pie shells the hard part is done <laughs> there was no hard part of the recipe right so simple lots of fun and when your family eats this, you're going to love to hear the comments and watch how much they enjoy this recipe right here. So we're going to pour all of our beautiful contents into the pie shells. Okay. If I got too much in that one, I'll just take some out. Beautiful, my goodness. Hooey! All right, so now we're just gonna take, oh yeah, spread the filling just like so. I'm gonna take some out, put it into that one. Just like so. Now, you only need two and a half cups of your sweet potatoes. Two and a half cups, okay? So when you, after you boil your potatoes, you can literally measure your sweet potatoes into a measuring cup, okay? And that's how you find out that you have two and a half cups of sweet potato. Just smooth it out just like so. This is going in the oven 350 degrees for around about 45 minutes. 45 to 50 minutes, 350 degrees. If at any time during your cooking process you feel like your 
crust is getting a little too dark, then you just turn around and take a little bit of foil and put some foil around your beautiful crust and it'll be just fine, okay? You'll have no issues, all right? Beautiful, see that there? Just like so, smooth it out. Take your time to make it nice and level. This is going on the middle rack, never the bottom rack, and never the top rack. And you see how it's not really soupy? It's beautiful when you let those potatoes cool down. It's not gonna be really soupy pouring it in there. Okay, when this, we'll check on this a few times. Once we get this in the oven on the middle rack, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful pecan topping that we're gonna to put on top of one of these sweet potato pies. Be back. Okay, everyone, so I have a half a stick of butter. Whoops, and I'm gonna use this here. I'm just gonna use that just to mix everything. I have one cup of brown sugar, one third cup, of all-purpose flour, crushed pecans, or chopped pecans, and I'm gonna use six ounces of the pecans, okay? And then my hands are impeccably clean. I'm gonna go in with my hands and I'm gonna mix the pecans, the flour, and the brown sugar in this manner until everything's well incorporated. Once everything is well incorporated, we're gonna pour that half a stick of butter in and that's gonna be our topping. But we're not gonna put this on until the last few minutes of our cooking process of that sweet potato pie. Make sure to get that flour well mixed in, okay? Just like so. Okay, now that we have everything well incorporated, we're gonna mix that butter in and I'm gonna use my rubber spatula from here. We're gonna mix everything all together, just like so. Beautiful, this right here is your mixture for the top of your sweet potato pie. When your family has this, they're gonna kinda of lose their minds when they taste this. Hoo-wee, that's what they're gonna say, hoo-wee! See that? Everything's getting well incorporated. This is what it should look like, just like so. Okay, everyone, take a look at these beautiful sweet potato pies. They cooked 45 minutes, 350 degrees. Now here's what I'm gonna do. One of them, we're going to put this beautiful topping right on top. And here's the thing about the topping. You put as less or as much as you would like to put on yours, okay? You can put it just in the middle or you can put it all over your beautiful pie. We're gonna put this back into the oven, 350 degrees for around about 15 more minutes and we want this beautiful topping to get nice, beautiful and caramelized. And when it's done, we're gonna let these cool down, we're gonna slice down into it I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like. Look at this. Oh, sweet potato couldn't be more delicious. Gina Young style. You all never had this before, baby. You better make you some. Hoo-wee, look at that. Going in the oven, 350 degrees. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and say a really quick prayer while our other uh, pie bakes in the oven. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful dessert. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift that you've given me to share with the world. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food, love, peace, and joy that you bring us daily. Amen. If y'all enjoyed this video right here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome, awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Amen to my beautiful prayer. If I didn't already say amen. Everything's out. We have to let it cool down so it can set up before we slice down into it. 
Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this right there. This right here, Jenny Young style sweet potato. You all never had this before, you better make you some. This is the original. Oh my goodness, and look at that right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, you better make you some. Now, watch this. Here's what I've been dreaming about all day. I'm gonna take some of that Dolce, Dolce, Dolce de Leche. <laughs> Watch this here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put you some caramel on there. Oh my goodness. You're talking about a match made in heaven. Gina Young style. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you once again for this meal, Lord Jesus. Look at this. Taste that. Let me know what you all think. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 When you've been blessed, feels like heaven. Oh, mmm. Mmm. So gone, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. And this one right here. Stay on there, cool whip. Just like so. Taste that. Let me know what you think. Mmm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm, mm, mm.